special guest of honor, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant Ferra T.A. Lagbaja, Lieutenant Army Lieutenant, Grand Staff Staff, Fast Staff from Naga, Colonel of the United States Royal College, Command Medal, Chief Command Medal, Chief Command Medal of Honor, Fast Staff. Honor, sir, in the person of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General of T.A. Lagbaja, proud holder of the Nigerian Army Medal, among other numerous medals. Principal Staff Officers, Director General, Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center, Senior Officers, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my singular honor and privilege to welcome the Special Guest of Honor, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.A. Lavaja, to the main hall of the Army War College, Nigeria, venue of the Office of the Chief of Army Staff, Directorate of Procurement, 4th Quarter 2023 Procurement Seminar. I'm also delighted to welcome all the invited special guests, participants, and everyone here today at the opening ceremony of this seminar. The objective of this seminar is to enhance participants' understanding of the rudiments of operational contract support in an ever-changing global context. The services, including the Nigerian Army, place keen interest in developing their self-sustaining capabilities. To this end, the Armed Forces of Nigeria continues to partner with reputable defense contractors in its procurement process towards building capacities and capabilities to, de to deliver our constitutional rules. This demands that the various services award contracts to domestic and foreign partners in their procurement process. Such transactions state the engagement of foreign exchange, among others while adhering to the Public Procurement and Foreign Exchange Regulations. The Public Procurement and Foreign, foreign Exchange Policies and Regulations continue to be the guiding compass for the award of contracts. Such contracts include the procurement of platforms and the construction of infrastructures which will enhance Nigerian Army operations and improve the Army's posture to perform its constitutional roles. To this end, the Nigerian Army under the direction of the Chief of Army Staff provides operational contract support to enhance effective delivery and completions, completion of contracts awarded. These efforts have improved the Nigerian Army's equipment holding and infrastructure in line with the Chief of Army Staff's command philosophy, which is to transform the Nigerian Army into a well-trained, equipped and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities within a joint environment. In line with the Federal Government of Nigeria's procurement policies, therefore, the Nigerian Army also works closely with all stakeholders in the procurement process. The important roles played by these institutions in the procurement process inform the participation of our colleagues from the Office of the National Security Advisor, Central Bank of Nigeria, and the Presidency Bureau of Public Procurement, among others, in this all important seminar. The impact of policies and regulations by these institutions exert critical implications on the procurement process. In recent times, the Central Bank of Nigeria introduced the new foreign exchange policy on international trade. This policy, which is aimed at enhancing foreign trade, is continuously met with changing dynamics in a complex global environment. Also, the global procurement process have taken a new tone due to changes in the international system and the prevailing security climate. The combination of these factors generates new challenges for procurement processes, particularly in the armed forces, because of the nature and processes, because of the nature and participation of defense contracts. These are for the office of the Chief of Army Staff, Director of Procurement, under the able leadership of the Chief of Army Staff, to organize this procurement seminar. The need to address many issues from the new foreign exchange policy and the international relations dynamics they inform the theme of this seminar, which is the implication of the new Central Bank of Nigeria foreign exchange policy on international trade challenges for the Nigerian Army. The lectures and activities and the course of the seminar have been carefully coordinated to ensure that they address the theme while also generating interesting discourse to arrive at workable solutions for the Nigerian Army procurement process. I wish to only express my appreciation to the special guest of honor, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T. Labaga, Nigerian Army Medal, for approving this seminar and providing all needed logistics for its success. I wish to thank all our invited guests for accepting our invitation.
the upper station will enrich our discussions towards arriving at workable outputs to enhance the Nigerian Army procurement system, which will also be beneficial to the defense, headquarters, and services procurement systems. I also thank our host, the Commandant and War College, Nigeria, for allowing the use of this facility for the seminar. Once again, I welcome you and look forward to fruitful deliberations. Thank you. When they talk about uh, defense procurement in Nigeria, people's mind raises quickly to dollars, pounds, sterling, and uh, Dutch mark. And so I'm happy that this morning we have uh, players in the industry and those with parts of dollars, pounds, sterling, and Dutch mark sitting here in this hall with us. And uh, I'm sure the Chief of Accounts and Budget is coordinating them effectively. <laughs> the Chief of Training Army and other principal staff officers from the Army headquarters, the Director General, Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center, Director from the Defense and Services Headquarters, the representatives of the National Security Advisor, and the Director General, Bureau of Public Procurement, the Managing Director, Latad Consulting Limited, Senior Officers, both serving and retired, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here as the special guest of honor at the opening ceremony of the fourth quarter 2023 Nigerian Army Procurement Seminar organized by the Army Headquarters Directorate of Procurement. I thank all our guests for honoring our invitation to be part of this seminar. It has been eight years since the Directorate of Procurement was established in August 2015, and there is no denying the fact that it has transformed how the Nigerian Army conducts its procurement and related activities. The primary objective of establishing the directory is contract and contractor relationship management. This is to obtain the best value for the money the Nigerian Army gives to its contractors and business partners for the execution of various contracts and projects while ensuring fairness, integrity, and transparency. Furthermore, the Directorate was conceived to establish mutual trust through good faith and goodwill in transactions between the Nigerian Army and its registered contractors and business partners. I'm pleased to observe that the Directorate has satisfactorily met these objectives since its inception. Nigeria's contemporary security space has contributed to deepening the relevance of military logistics contractors in the Nigerian Army's sustenance plan. For instance, the escalation of counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency operations in the Northeast in 2015 and its resultant enormous logistics requirement has increased the Nigerian Army's reliance on its private military logistics and business entities more than ever before. The importance of an efficient procurement process to realizing my command philosophy to transform the Nigerian Army into a well-trained, equipped, and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities 
within a joint environment can tox, not be overemphasized. This underscores how, strate how strategic the Directorate of Procurement is in driving my command philosophy. Equally crucial to the success of my command philosophy are government policies, particularly those with direct bearing on our procurement and acquisition programs. One such recent policy is the Central Bank of Nigeria's foreign exchange policy, which has continued to have significant implications for Nigerian contracts, particularly those requiring foreign exchange. The new foreign exchange policy has resulted in requests for payment of variation which is not favorable to the Nigerian army. I believe forging a common understanding of this policy must have informed the theme of this seminar, which is implication of the new Central Bank of Nigeria foreign exchange policy on international trade challenges for the Nigerian army. I'm optimistic that sitting in an atmosphere like this will forge good mutual understanding amongst stakeholders and help the Nigerian army benefit more from the value of the government's allocations. I must therefore thank the Director of Procurement and his staff for organizing this seminar to share perspectives and create mutual understanding I also want to appreciate Lab Art Consulting Limited for partnering with the Directorate of Procurement in putting this seminar together. Furthermore, I thank our procurement process facilitators, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Bureau of Public Procurement, the Office of the National Security Advisor, and all stakeholders in the defense procurement process for their support and for being here with us today. I consider your presence with us this morning a demonstration of your resolve and renewed commitment to building and sustaining an efficient procurement system that meets international best practices. To our business partners and contractors, I charge you to be partners in progress and our relationship should be mutually beneficial and not exploitative. I understand that notwithstanding the Nigerian Army's huge investment in research and development towards self-sufficiency in local production and sourcing of our requirements, the service will, for the foreseeable future, continue to partner with reputable contractors to procure necessary equipment and platforms that will boost our operational efficiency. Thus, under my leadership, the Nigerian Army will view all forms of shortchanging it with the seriousness it deserves. We shall leave no stone unturned to derive value for our money. We shall ensure that contractors mobilize for various jobs, deliver as agreed with us. In this light, we are disposed to working with relevant government agencies such as the Nigerian Police Force and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to recover government money at the value they were giving out. The Nigerian Army remains open to doing business but only on terms favorable to it and gives value to the federal government that funds our activities. I look forward to your suggestions and recommendations on making the Nigerian Army procurement system more efficient in the face of the new Central Bank of Nigeria's foreign exchange policy. At this point, I must appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Grand Commander 
of the order of the Federal Republic, the Nigerian Army has continued to enjoy the unceasing support of Mr. President, who has provided the means for us to procure necessary equipment and logistics and execute administrative projects to enhance our posture towards performing our constitutional roles. I also thank the Honorable Minister of Defense for his untimely support through the Nigerian Army procurement process. I appreciate the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Bureau of Public Procurement, the Office of the National Security Advisor, and all our partners for tirelessly supporting and facilitating our requests amidst competing demands. Finally, I'm honored to declare the Army Headquarters Directorate of Procurement, 4th Quarter 2023 Procurement Seminar open. I wish all fruitful deliberation. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Shall we please rise for the departure of...